What if I told you one key factor could make or break your relationship and that most couples have no idea how to do it? I'll show you how to create this secret factor with five easy steps. It's called emotional intimacy. Have you ever heard of emotional intimacy? And do you know how to make it happen? If not, don't worry. By the end of this video, you'll understand what emotional intimacy is and why it's the secret ingredient to a successful relationship and how you can cultivate it very simply. Let's dive right in. Welcome back to my channel. I'm Adam Lane Smith, your relationship specialist with 15 years of professional experience. I'm here to help you navigate the intricate world of human connections. And today we're unmasking the often overlooked yet crucial component of relationships, which is called emotional intimacy. Now, some of you ladies are watching this with your boyfriend or your husband right now, and that's great because I've been asked by a lot of couples to do this video and explain this concept to make it very simple and easy to understand. So let's get started. Think of emotional intimacy as the oil that keeps the relationship engine running smoothly. Without it, friction increases and things start to heat up and not in a good way. Emotional intimacy is also the fuel that powers long-term relationships. It's like a well-oiled, well-fueled machine. Your relationship will endure the longest journeys only with emotional intimacy. But without it, you are headed for a lot of chafing and a fire explosion. Emotional intimacy is everything. So what is emotional intimacy? In essence, at the easiest point, it's the level of emotional closeness and openness that exists between two people. It lies at the heart of every truly connected relationship. The level of emotional intimacy in a relationship often determines the depth and quality of that relationship. It's that comforting sense of familiarity you get, that feeling of home when you look into each other's eyes instead of guarding against each other or being protected or feeling like you can't share things. It's feeling completely at home, able to put down your keys in your wallet, kick off your shoes and relax because nobody's going to judge you. That's emotional intimacy. And the more that you feel at home, the more intimate the relationship probably is. Now at the core of emotional intimacy is the ability to be completely open and relaxed with somebody else, particularly when conflicts arise. This requires a profound trust. Trust that your partner will act in good faith, that they'll stand by your side, even when things get tough. It's about believing that they'll be there to help you, to cooperate in solving problems together, and to genuinely care for your well-being. Moreover, emotional intimacy is about being able to share every part of yourself without reservations, knowing that you're gonna be accepted for who you truly are. It's about mutual disclosure, it's a two-way street where both of you can open up about your fears, your dreams, your feelings, and you can feel seen, heard, and loved in return. It's about being comfortable with your vulnerability around the other person because they know and you know that they know the real you, the good and the bad, and they still choose to love you. All of these elements come together to form the foundation of a true, lasting partnership. And quick sidebar here, after the first 12 months, the female sex drive is almost entirely driven by emotional intimacy. Any of you out there who've seen that, that sex drive fall off a cliff at one year, you know exactly what I'm talking about. But most couples take that as normal. No, absolutely not. Her drive should increase at one year and stay high if you do the emotional bonding part right. That's what this video is gonna teach you. Now, unfortunately, as you've guessed, emotional intimacy is lacking in many relationships today. That can make it seem like a really foreign concept to some people. In fact, some of you might be watching this right now wondering, what is this man smoking describing this kind of warm, open, loving relationship? Nobody feels that. Nobody has that. Everybody's scared. Everybody's distant from each other. A lot of people out there have that challenge. I'm going to talk about why here in a moment, but that's not true. It's not true. A lot of people have this emotional intimacy and people can build it on purpose. I'll show you how. There's one primary reason though that this is happening. That missing link can frequently be traced back to one primary antagonist, which is called insecure attachment. This term is rooted in attachment theory, which is what I teach. And that refers to the anxiety and avoidance that we experience in our relationships based on our earliest bonding experiences in the family where we grew up. It comes down to how you learn to get your needs met, if you could trust other people to be stable, if you trusted other people to take care of you or not to hurt you, to be kind to you, to be honest, to be stable, or if you deserved love. It comes down to that. And if you never learn those lessons early on, you may be carrying them forward into your relationship today. 
insecure attachment in particular is a tricky beast because it breeds so much fear. Fear of openness, fear of rejection, fear of abandonment, and countless other emotional wounds that keep you stuck. This fear is like a high, impenetrable wall that keeps you from opening up and trusting other people fully. And that impedes the formation of all these deep emotional bonds that can make your relationships amazing. When you are constantly on guard, like you learned to be when you were a kid, it becomes almost impossible to expose your authentic self and to form a deeper connection on a deeper, more intimate level. Over time, this lack of emotional intimacy begins to take a very deep toll. Without the bonding glue that holds your relationship together, it starts to wear really thin. And life's inevitable stresses can strain and really crack your relationship. So what can begin as minor issues may escalate fast, and that causes that friction, and it can even lead to the breakup of your relationship or divorce. This, I hope, underscores that essential role that emotional intimacy plays in the health and longevity of a relationship, and it is possible to build it. This is one reason that I fight so hard against attachment issues out in public. I've seen them tear apart amazing couples who could have worked out if they had just known how to open up to each other in time. And it is never too late for a person to learn this. So if you've been frustrated, it's time to learn how to do this and to build great relationships that last. Now to help your relationship flourish, it's essential to understand how to foster that emotional intimacy. So let's dive into some practical strategies right now to nourish this vital connection between you. Here are five key ways that I teach to my coaching clients to enhance emotional intimacy in relationships and they work fast. Number one is more open communication. Frequent, honest, and open dialogue is absolutely crucial. Make it a practice to discuss your feelings, your thoughts, your fears, and your dreams. This is especially hard with attachment issues. One of the biggest changes that my coaching clients come in and do is learning how to share their needs in a way that is honest, that is clear, and increases their partner's respect and comfort in the relationship. It's not a burden and you won't get hurt. It's about building those deeper connections on purpose. When you don't do that, you actually shut out the other person and make them feel less secure over time, which eats away at the heart of your relationship. When you learn to share your needs in a clear, honest way, it filters out people who don't care about you, but it also makes other people feel safe and secure. They know exactly what you want from them and what you need and how they can fulfill it. It gives them a warm feeling and makes them feel at home, just like it can make you feel at home. It is not impossible. I've helped so many couples do it. If you need help, let me know in the comments. Say, Adam, I need help with attachment. I'll be right there. Step number two is active listening. Now, listening is just as important as being able to share. Showing your partner you genuinely care about their feelings and their perspective is crucial. This does not mean you become a doormat to them. It does not mean you just shut up. It does not mean you're their slave. It means that you learn how to listen and cooperate during conflicts. It means you learn how to receive their sharing. Women especially share to bond and a lot of men try to throw solutions out and shut them down. So if you're accidentally shutting down the emotional sharing, we can fix that too. I've got videos here on this channel for it. Let me know if you need some help or some resources there. Number three is quality time. Spending quality time together, doing activities that you both enjoy is very important. Shared experiences foster a deeper emotional connection. There's two bonding hormones here that you need to keep track of. One is vasopressin, so men have more receptors for this. We bond through achieving goals together and achieving things together. You need to be building that. The research shows vasopressin is hugely important for emotional intimacy and for long-term strength of a relationship. The one that a lot of couples know about is oxytocin. And bonding through warmth and care and low stress, cuddling together, talking, opening up that communication, that can help. But quality time together, very, very important. Make sure you're doing it. Not just time to spend in the same room, quality time together. Number four is to show empathy. Be there for your partner, especially during challenging times. There's ways to do this. Show understanding and provide that comfort. If you don't know how to comfort someone, if you don't know what they want from you, if you don't know how to find out what they want from you, let me know. I can teach you. I have coaching sessions. I can guide you really quick. I have a private community where we work on stuff like this all the time, but you can learn how to provide that connection with, again, without feeling like a doormat. You won't feel trapped. You don't have to self help them regulate all the time. That's not the goal. The goal is to get to a place where they feel safe and you feel safe, but you also both feel 
love. Number five is maintaining physical intimacy. So many couples lose this. Hugs, kisses, cuddles, they foster a sense of closeness and affection that complements and enhances that emotional intimacy. One mistake I see a lot of couples make is they forget to touch each other outside of the bedroom. It falls apart and it just like, let me grab a quick squeeze, let's go to the bedroom real fast, let's wham, bam. It's a touch on the lower back, a touch on the arm, it's a hug. It's spooning at night and sleeping at least five, 10 minutes before bed, right? Don't just roll over and go to sleep fast. It is touch outside of the bedroom. It is small touches. They are so important and they build so much emotional intimacy because it displays oxytocin and creates oxytocin. There's so much warmth to be had in those. Please don't forget to touch your partner outside of the bedroom. Really important. So there it is, emotional intimacy absolutely important. And if you have questions, drop me a comment below. And before we wrap up, here's a quick reminder. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on those notifications, especially in your phone, so that you don't miss out on more insightful relationship tips and strategies that I'm going to share next. Your support helps me to create more content just like this. And for that, I thank you so much. Now, if attachment issues specifically are getting in the way of your emotional connection as a couple, I offer my attachment bootcamp video course that's available on my website at adamlanesmith.com. It can help you fix those insecurity issues in your relationship and strengthen your bond with your partner. Remember that the secret to thriving relationships lies right there in your hands. I am Adam Lane Smith, your attachment specialist, and I'll see you in the next video.